Hey everybody, welcome back to Phoenix Point. Uh, we have arrived at this Bloodlines mission. It's picked up a, a side mission in our exploration. We have a Haven Defense that we might reach. It's going to be really close. Um, but let's start with this one. We have the Tiamat ready to roll. We need to eliminate the Pandorans, what used to be Walter Ivan Toso's family crypt. The place does not seem welcoming, even for a crypt. Good. We're taking out Drake, Toku, Truman, Jeff, Vignesh, Casey, Sarah, and Drazur. Oh. So if you missed the last episode, which you didn't, because you're very addicted to watching Phoenix Point videos, aren't you? You can admit it. You can admit it. Show up at the same time every day. You're like, where's the video? It's not there. Check back a half hour later. If it's not there, you're like, oh, God, I check Twitter. You check Twitter and you're like, oh, there's no videos because... It was New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, birthday, it was busy, lots going on. But now we're back, and you're feeling satisfied. Am I right? Did I accurately describe how you're feeling? Oh, cool, okay. Okay. This is great. Kill all enemies. Well, that seems like a reasonable request, doesn't it? I might take a uh, free aim down here just to get rid of this. Or not. Did that not get rid of that? Received. It did. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so now I think we try and go torso here. Remove pain chameleon. There we go. And now we can straight kill him. By arm. Ready to engage. <laughs> you know damn right that's gonna hit our soldier. These guys are all just like crammed in here too. On my way. Okay, we need to make a little space. Team. Fish butt. Okay. We'll do some overwatching down here. Uh, I'm going to come to this left side. We'll set up an overwatch with this minigun. In case somebody comes around the corner. Uh, turrets wise. Oh yeah, right. We need to get these guys the skills that let them deploy these at range. Because this is not ideal. We'll just set up an overwatch down here. Frostbite, come on over, overwatch. Well, there's something close. I think uh, we're not going to split our guys. We're not going to go left, right. We're just going to go straight in one direction. Two enemies right behind this wall, so that's a good sign. Who should be leading this charge? That's my question. Henley, we can toss these, so... I might use this for, like... Let's go. Pseudo kind of scout. Deploying. Oh, hello. Yeah, that might be dead, but it doesn't matter. Is this going to serve its purpose? And anybody that dares come around this corner is going to feel really bad. I do have to be a little cautious that we don't like... Actually, I don't even think... I don't even think that we need to overwatch here. What's our plan? Famous last words, I'm sure. Let's do this. We'll do something like this. I've got this covered. 
where it's really clear cut that they're not going to get hit. Goku, I might be able to do something through these walls. Good mind crush, actually. Let's do it. That's scary. They don't even know. They don't even know. Sure, I'll double mind crush. Sure, I'll triple mind crush. And regain a bunch of that back. That's awesome. That's actually insane. Uh, next turn, we can recover some will points. Bring Wanderer up. Okay. Uh, there's still action here. Heading out. Ooh, almost dead. We'll let him pain Chameleon away if necessary. Damn it. Oh, she's in an interesting spot. Receiving loud and clear. He's not the one I want to be killing, but... I'm looking for a way that I can deal with this and I don't have a clear cut way of doing it. Deploying tech. This thing might get killed. But it might not. So we'll see. We could gain armor here, but that's not the concern. Um, let's actually overwatch this. Providing overwatch. No time to waste. We'll start sliding some of these people down. Uh, let's actually use this. They can take control of each other's stuff. Oh, 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 oh. That is disgusting. It's absolutely just gross. Making haste. Do it again. Siren, bye bye. Uh, Toku, we're going to recover. And we'll set up an overwatch down here. Actually, what do you have in your inventory? Ah, uh, flanked. Oof. I mean, when a turret can retaliate against an enemy and kill it, when the enemy can't kill the turret, you know turrets are strong. Ooh, okay. Okay, so this one behind me. Only four will. Guess what, buddy? Don't 
join me. And what I'm going to do with you is basically just explore. the torso yikes I can do this hope I don't miss uh this isn't the best shot but yeah as I was saying that's not the best shot I th that was the full sentence actually the full sentence I'm a little bit concerned about this guy. Ah, wish we would have got that arm. No choice but to keep going. It smells like trouble. Well, we got the leg. I'm listening. Let's control this. Hey, cruising. We'll actually uh, retrieve this turret. Not much we can do here. Is this a, no, this is not a dead end. Ready. What's the plan? The downside with these all these What's snipers it? is like our mobility is pretty severely hampered. Let's go. Let's do a uh, swap of some gear here. And this way, we can move out and we can toss down. A couple of turrets to scout and oh, hello. I hope this guy helps. We'll just take control of these, I think, with the other guys. Unfortunate whiff. He does kind of like a recoil. Guess it's my turn. Catching us a bit. Steady. Um, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna move. What was that? We'll come over here. Let's retrieve this turret. Man, an all turret squad would actually be pretty cool, I think. <laughs> I think might be like surprisingly powerful. 
Uh, Toku. Let's just bring you around. If we lose that mind control eventually, it's not a thing. Fine. Help me get that. Okay. No choice but to keep going. Guess it's my turn. I don't have any dashes with him. I have dashes here, but I don't have any. No choice but to keep going. I don't have any action points or will points. Need a better position. A left arm down. I, I think he needs two to shoot this, right? Oh, no, he doesn't. It's Yeah, that's right. It's just built into him. Fair. Fair enough. Must be nice to have that. Okay. Let's take a couple of these. In this way, this is like, this is actually a pretty cool, like we've never actually done this before, um, but being able to control these things from wherever the frick you want, you have one person who's tossing them out, one person just using will points to, um, to use them is like really cool. Both arms down. Ready. Now we can come out with the pistol and finish them. Almost. Super cool. Okay. Okay. A little bit of a different style there with the turret usage. I like it. I like it a lot. Level up on fish butt. Level up on wanderer. Drastically different nicknames. Okay, hey, so now we have a new thing for family trees. Successfully attained the tomb from what used to be the Toso family crypt. Pandorans that had infested the underground lair have been eliminated, leaving us with the sole task of returning to Walter and presenting with our findings. Family tree. Okay, we only need to remake one of those. Um... I feel like I might whip up some more of them. Okay, you go to an entity in eight. Now, let's see if we get here. We did make it. Okay, so we're going in. Uh, we're going to need to make sure that everyone's reloaded here. Three on three. You're basically all quivers all day. That's fine. Uh, priest... Fill this up. Fill. Got the assault rifle as well. And a med kit. Ali Corpal. You're sitting on 25 points. Let's go, Will. Priest, we're going to max you out. Wait. Yeah, Priest, we're going to max out. Furies. Mm. Not amazing, eh? Do something like that. And I balance him. Might as well put this in here. And carry another med kit. You've got space. Same deal. Okay. Now, this was a pretty big attack, it looked like. So, we only have five people. We do have some mind control possibilities. But we do have some new uh, soldiers as well.
Okie dokie. Well, we automatically see our first target. Kill all enemies. Civilians we need to keep alive. We have enemies right next to us, which is just fan freaking tastic. And worst thing is that uh The worst thing is that we don't have a way to burst this one down this time. So that's gonna be a little bit more challenging than what we've been used to. Uh it's only 30 will points though. Got the sonic blast to daze people and getting close. It also has the death belch. Ooh. This could be kind of nasty. Could be. Uh, let's check will points here. 22, not a fan. 30 over here. The mind crush isn't bad. Like, we could pop this off three times. And remove uh, 300 health. So that kills there. Almost kills there. We could slide over and probably get the rest. There's also an enemy here though. So. And here. So maybe I'll just like run into the middle section. You were actually hitting five there. I think that's pretty value. Uh, actually, can I even go further? Like, look how big this range is. If I go here, I'm pretty sure I'm still hitting this guy and I might even be hitting another one. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's insane. And with all this death that's about to happen? Oh, yeah. Well, that's fine. We're going to reduce will points from everybody across the board. And we actually gained enough to pop it one more time. That's freaking crazy. Okay. Queen's not alerted. Standing by. But we're just reducing will like everywhere because of this. Down to 17 there. Uh Corpa, we could actually we could actually panic the queen if we wanted to. I think what we should do. is try to just get some poison going. Oh, what the frick? That ain't good. <laughs> Can we not poison on that part? I see them. Nice. Is it though? What's happening? Weird. So it's okay. So certain things it's hitting is causing it not to trigger. I'm definitely going to have to go for a panic. Um, I don't know if I love this build. I don't think I love it, to be honest. Moving now. Okay. Is this... It is the poison. I don't know why I'm not... I don't know. I don't know what's happening there. But I'm going to take cover now. This doesn't feel good. Uh, we're going to induce panic. Then I'm going to try to get, like, 
up in here because that mine crush is seriously effective. And we can even panic this one for two. We have one over here, it looks like. I think we're cool to chill here. Oh, what the? Okay. Look at that. Very sneaky. We can deal with it, but... Going for civilians. Looks like a civilian in the back there. I oh, okay. We have a Chiron. Spinning fireworms? Always fun. Okay, well, um, yikes. <laughs> That's dirty, but necessary. Come on. Reloading. Targeting. What in the actual F? Okay. Fine. So I need to get in here. Let's do this. Got to try and protect these guys. Targeting. Oh my god, the misses are just unbelievable. Gotcha. Okay. Pain chameleons, that's fine. Not much else we can do there. We lack is uh, damage. Why can't I panic this guy? Doesn't matter. Why can't I mind control this guy? <laughs> it says I can. Oh, now I can. What the hell? That was, that was weird. Okay, so we've got the spit poison. We have the um, throw grenade, which we're definitely going to use. The queen's angry. I actually think the um, bitter head might be the way to go here. I'll blast this down. I'm going to use this here, actually. I think this might explode. We took a little damage of our own, but that's fine. There we go. We can panic down there. I need to recover our other 
Um, our other mind controller soon. Annex. Who else do you see? Ah, uh, this one. And this, these shots don't feel great at all. If this guy comes around the corner, I am a little concerned. Okay, so this guy died. Happy to see that. Well, that miss is going to be a bit of an issue, I think. Okay, we're dazed, which is okay. Oh, we dazed everybody in that line. Okay. Not the flank I was thinking of, but good. We panicked. Ugh. Don't like this. Try to get there in one piece. Messing oh, up a bit. That's really bad. That's really bad. I only have one action, so I can't do anything. Acquiring target. All of these take multiple. How nice would a pistol be? Can I just say? We have no will points here. Do I just try and destroy this gun? Or the arm carrying the gun. Okay, well, both is good. Problem is, he still has the... Oh, he's just got the shield. Okay, okay. Let's move back. This is going to take some finagling to get out of. Let's take cover here now. Uh, let's move back a bit. There's nothing I can do there. Middleman might just be... Well, actually... Okay. So he's coming around this way. Probably going to target the civilians. But it's not looking like we're going to be able to save them all. Um, if we can survive this turn, maybe. But... I'm good with... Yep, blow up anything you want, honestly, at this point. Okay. That's that's enough. Thanks. Frick.
My confidence is dwindling here. Holy shit. Whoa. Holy moly. And we lost the mind control. Uh, says we can do it. Oh, okay. Oh, we just, we can do it, but then we lose it immediately. Right. I think we've run into that before. Man. There's only one civilian left and I can't even see him. Which means we might be better off just evacing here because uh, these guys are almost dead. And that other one, I think, is in that back corner, which they're, we're not going to get to. No choice but to keep going. I'm going to try dashing. Yikes. Open. We haven't had to retreat very often, man, but uh, this is definitely one of those times. This was not a crucial haven to defend anyways. Ouch. I mean, there's some good that came out of that. We have a promotion on Furies. We've got two into the general skill pool. So, not too bad. All right. It might succeed without us. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I think that they're pretty well dead. Uh, we need to send them here now. Okay, so family tree. Who's heading in that direction? I don't think we've set anyone to go there yet. Let's go here. And just regen everybody. Helios is going to regen here. We've got Medical Bay. The Living Quarters is what we need for the Stamina. Which is not too, too bad. Helios is coming to drop people off. And Family Tree is down here. So Tiamat's got to go and do this. Now we do have some promotions over here. I think we're going to take weak spot and remote deployment. Yes. That's cool. We've got a promotion over here on Dan. We'll take quick aim. Spiritus Mundi. Our operatives reported unusually disturbing hallucinations of an abandoned inhuman city. The details of each experience are different, but several share clear similarities in their... In the architecture described, including a deep pit, green pyramids, and a cyclopean tomb that instills unbearable terror. Now we've all lost 15. Frick. Yeah, that's too low. That's too low. Um, God, we need a base down here so bad. We just don't have one. Hey, okay, Tiamat. All the way back here, I suppose. You're heading home. You're heading home. You're heading home. Okay. Research complete. Yugothian entity is complete. Now, our analysis of the antediluvian text combined with the knowledge gathered by the Phoenix Project over the course of the last century has forced us to acknowledge a shocking truth. 
War against Earth is being waged by an alien entity. This being of unimaginable age and power is located on Ugoth, the ninth planet of our solar system. Ugoth's orbit is highly elliptical, coming close to Earth once every 17,000 years. When it does, Ugoth expels meteorites carrying various iterations of the Pandora virus, a bioweapon intended to radically transform the Earth's ecosystem to the advantage of the Ugothian entity. Whoa. Okay. The entity communicates with its creatures via some form of quasi-telepathic signal. Evidence suggests that some human beings are sensitive to these transmissions, explaining the occurrence of the name Ugoth and variations thereof in the work of artists such as H.P. Lovecraft, Virginia Gutierrez, John Belairs, Ralph Pabodi, and many others. This presumably represents an earlier, less powerful expression of the phenomenon we have termed oniric delirium. We've concluded the ultimate purpose of the entity is to create the ecological conditions that will allow it to come to Earth. We have hypothesized the existence of the Ugothian receptacle, a clone or replica, or replica to which the entity will transfer its consciousness. We believe the Pandorans are already in the process of accumulating biomass and genetic material for this purpose. Now there's new... Oh, hello. Finally, we knew our enemy. The Pandora virus was only a tool. It was the hand that wielded it that truly mattered. The creature we came to call the Ugothian entity. It was old, perhaps older than the solar system itself. On Ugoth, the ninth planet, it lay waiting. For thousands of years, it slept in the outer darkness. But when Ugoth's orbit approached the Earth, it expelled the seeds of our destruction. Its mind reached out, haunting our dreams, infesting our stories. Its ultimate purpose was to transform our world into its own, to recreate whatever long lost abyss it had come from. Its creatures were already assembling a new body it could inhabit. That's so were trippy. Dead, when the Ugothian entity came to Earth, nothing could stand in its way. Uh, finally we've revealed the true enemy behind the Pandora virus, the Ugothian or Ugothian entity. For New Jericho, this is excellent news. Finally, a proper way war to clear sides, and they know which side they're on. There's no more time for traitors or accommodations. Or accommodationists. For Sinedrian, it's now a question of philosophy. Do they want to seize the master's tools and transform the world, or destroy the cosmic hierarchy and let things take their own course? The answer will have to be reached democratically. So, New Jericho says, don't like Anu, uh, and Sinedrian, and Anu drops towards Jericho. Dubs of Anu have no official statement on any parallels between the Ogothian entity and their dead god. Very convenient. The liturgy of the divine flesh draws close, and they have more important things to focus on than the ravings of those trapped in ideology in ideologies of the old world. We have to research a Ugothian receptacle. Analyze the evidence to find out more about the Ugothian receptacle and its purpose. Okay. So, oh, and we can reverse engineer this helmet, I guess. But we could make more. Moon mission preparation. Inspired by our theories regarding the Ugothian entity, a Sinedrian science team has come up with an incredibly ambitious proposal. Send a probe to the moon looking for evidence of previous attacks on our planet. All aircraft speeds up by 25%. Man, that's actually huge. But frick, that's a lot of research. That's a lot of time. Okay. So I feel like we're kind of in um we're kind of in survival mode right now. I mean, we're so close to the Phoenix Point base. Like I should probably, ah, eh, mind you. We only have the one medical bay. Um this is better for um, training. I'm going to build another medical bay. And another living quarters. Or can I even do that? Yes. Our wise we're still good. I think I'm going to do that same thing everywhere else. We don't even have a medical bay here, but to be fair, we don't need one because these are already so close. Medical bay living quarters. We have this base, but like 
as I say, this one's just as accessible as this one. Um, this is a really important base to keep, but I'm not too worried about it. I think that setup is fine. My biggest worry is getting this home. You're fine there. Helios 4, we can actually... Well, mind you. Helios 4... Um, whoops. These are all the newbies. We can put them at the base, I guess. And then these guys... They can come in. Let's give them, like, basic whatever we have available. Uh, weird. Okay, so... Training-wise, let's get your basics set up. Salt rep proficiency if we want it. Let's actually take that. I just feel like we have better guns in every other class. We could go... We could go shotguns if we wanted. Maybe that's just how we build you out. Okay. Uh, infiltrator training. Now, because you have Reckless, I'd be tempted to put you into something like uh, sniper training. Because every shot's going to have an additional 30 bonus damage. Um, the other option is that we go into heavy training to eventually unlock Rage Burst, and you still get the 30 bonus damage, um, firing heavy weapons. I think let's do that. Equipment-wise... You can take this and this armor. You can take this helmet. Um, let's clear this. We're going to need another crossbow, but we need the poison one. We cancel out a couple of those because we went a bit overboard. And then equipment wise, sorry, armor wise, let's make some more of these. And you, we're going to go mind control, panic. All attacks that target a the damage of target also inflict a viral damage per bullet. Yeah. I mean... I think we just make this as strong as possible. And then these guys are all just chilling at the base. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. This will be cool. Him at hopefully. The only thing is, we're not gaining the uh, let's actually move them up here because we're not getting the stamina back sitting there. We may as well move them and get both. Okay, Manticore one is good. We can send Manticore one back out to do things. Hmm. 
Where is Manticore 1 sitting? A Phoenix Foxtrot, where we don't have any additional soldiers. Um, we might do a little swapsy here. These guys really just need levels. We'll put him here, but I'm going to leave this ship here to just train, I think. Actually, no. Let me let me not do that because I'll forget that we want to leave it there and then you won't be training and it's going to be a sad day. Hey, whoa. Moon mission preparation. Phoenix forward is getting attacked. We can deal with that. We need gear for these guys. I'm trying to figure out if I need to send multiple there. I think we should. Take this one. Fighter drones. Fine sense. Okay, now these guys are here. What we should do is um, get them out. Okay, so Manticore. Need to hook you up. Each is good. Rufus is fine. Dario. Alev. Get rid of this and make new ones. Oh, no. Break. Uh, this is fine. We can just fill it. Oku's fine. Truman's fine. But what I need to do is get somebody from another ship. And we need to borrow their gear for Cassandra. Take this. Sandra. Take all of this gear. Okay, so as a quick double check, we're going to have a base defense in three hours. Okay, Manticore 1 and Helios are both here to defend Phoenix forward. Um, these guys are all good. And these guys are all good. Yeah, okay. So, let's take a break here. When we come back, we're going to defend this base, which is just fantastic. Uh, we're finishing the Ugothian receptacle, and we need to do the moon mission preparation, which it looks like the Sinedrian guys uh, started. We got a little notification.
they were into that. So anyways, um, then we have Family Tree, which is, you know, way out here. Um, unfortunately, I have to send this guy back home and then we'll um, we'll move some others out there. Maybe take a faster ship or something. And I might rearrange some of our ships as well. Um, we should fill these slots. Um, the thing is that I like to have people training here. So the downside is we only have... Actually, any of these guys. These guys could all fill other slots now. And then we can load up um, the Helios with um, like one of the other people. And yeah, we can figure it out. Okay, wish me luck. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.